I'm going to be giving you a new poem today. And what I'm going to ask you to do is to just look at it, scan it, get your very first impressions. I don't want you to read it. I just want you to look at it, and whatever comes into your mind, I want you to what? Talk to the text, write it down, get it out. What are some of the things that are the first things that are going to come into your mind? <clears throat> What's anything? What? Thousands of ideas. Lots of ideas. What else? Ask a question. Ask a question. Good, good, good. What else? Cindy. Predict. Predict. What, what could you be predicting? What the poem is going to be about. Okay, what the poem's going to be about. Michael? Connections. Connections. What does that mean? Connections? Like, um, connect with um, other words. Okay, other words, things that are going on in the poem, connect words to words. What else? Harris? Something like that happened to you before. Something that happened to you, similar to what's happening in the poem, okay? I want you to take a look at the title, the author, the kind of structure it is. I'm not giving you a newspaper article, I'm not giving you an essay, so you already know that. But if you didn't know that, you'd have to figure that out right off the bat, wouldn't you? Okay, so we're just gonna take about three minutes or so just to talk to the text. Remember now we're not actually reading the poem. I just want you to scan the whole thing like you're looking at it from an airplane overhead. Okay, remember we weren't reading it, but you looked at it. What are some of the things that jumped out at you? <clears throat> Harris? A Mexican guy wrote it. Okay, a Mexican person wrote it. How do you know that? It says by Ricardo Sanchez. Ricardo Sanchez. So you know that that name is probably a Hispanic name. Okay, good, good. Cindy? Um, it's gonna, um, in the title, Old Man, it's uh, like gonna be about somebody old or... Okay, Tito? It says, um, old man grandfather at the, um, second, um, uh -huh. second, second. So the word grandfather jumped out at you. Yeah. So Ricardo? When I saw by, Ar by Ricardo, yeah. I, I thought, I said that's, uh, my name is um, Ricardo too. Good. So that was a connection, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, you made a connection to your, yourself. Good. Anything else, Harris? You can tell that, um, the story's old because it says number 8, 1972. Aha. Uh -huh. You noticed when it was written, October 8th, 1972. Any other impressions? Anything that jumped out at you? Questions? Alejandro. I agree with Harris because C is kind of Mexican because it says some Mexican words in it. It's got Mexican words, like what? Like in Indio and and there's tons of names that come from Mexico and all that. Okay, so not what we, we, we had some other evidence. Ricardo was his name, and there's Mexican words in there. So now we're really sure that it's probably a, a poem from Mexico or written by a Mexican person. Okay, what about the subtitle? Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Remembrances, smiles hurts sweetly. What do you think about that? Yeah. Probably that person has like a big smile. Who does? The author or the character in the, character. In the poem? Yeah. Okay, that he's a smiling person. Okay, that's a prediction. Jerry? Probably somebody in the character died in like very like peacefully. Peacefully. And that you say sweetly reminds you of peacefully. Okay, so you think it's about him dying. Mm -hmm. Cindy? Um, I think that it's about some, um, it says their remembrance. I think like a memory past, um, the thing that um, they remember and what Je what's Jerry said about he um, dying or something. Okay, so it's a memory of someone. We already said maybe a grandfather and about how he was dying. Okay, is there a word in there that makes you think about dying? I mean, that what, what, why, why do you both say dying? Jerry? Because it said hurts. hurts. Um, yeah, when you think about hurts, you think about dying, don't you? Okay, now what I'd like you to do is let's spend some real time actually reading this poem. As you're reading it, I want you to notice what are your roadblocks? 
What are the things that are going to make you um, stop and not understand it? And I want you to notice, how do you get through that roadblock? How are you going to then go back and use the tools to actually make sense out of this? Let's spend about 10 minutes.